Tommy Mover, Van with the Man, 88 Move stuff, getting ready to head down the coast. We got Rabbit in the back and Elliot on the wheel. We're heading down to Leesburg, Virginia. We're supposed to be there for a one o'clock elevator and it's 12.30 in the afternoon and we're getting diesel still in New Jersey. So we're a little behind schedule. I called the company, uh, the management company, and asked them if we could deliver later this evening and they said, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. So worst comes to worst, we'll have to do the sneaky Pete. Uh, after management leaves, but up until 6 o'clock right now, we should be good. So we're going to get gas at the Wawa, and uh, we'll be back later on, so stay tuned. Like, share, and tell your friends. So here we are over in Leesburg, Virginia, unloading the truck. We finally made it down here. It's only four or five hours behind the schedule today. It's not so bad, considering everything that we went through to make it happen. A lot of people don't realize how much stuff we need to do to actually get to where we are it's not just put it in the truck and leave there's a lot of preparations we got to go and weigh our truck make sure we're legal we got to make sure all the safety is right everything's got to be a hundred percent before we can actually pull out so had a little delays today making all of that stuff happen but it worked we're here in Leesburg today we're delivering here in Manning, South Carolina, and uh, we were coming to go get some fuel at the TA down the block, and we had a boo-boo. Um, somebody tipped over the wagon. Something happened, something went wrong. This is how it is. So, we're gonna have to clean it up. Luckily, everything still looks nice and tight. It's just tipped over. That's the roof. So if I have any leaks up there, I should repair them now, um, but, I don't think that's going to help us in this situation, so I got to get me a new wagon. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of an insurance claim probably with some of the customers, so hopefully we can make them happy and hopefully nothing uh, is too damaged or irreplaceable inside there. Share and comment below. So here's an update from Manning, South Carolina. We got the wrecker here. It's about to come in and maybe hopefully rotate my trailer back up onto all four wheels but in this case there's only going to be three wheels because one of them is a little messed up and the axle is kind of twisted so I might just be able to get it rotated take off a wheel and get it parked somewhere so let's see what happens stay tuned we got two wreckers on the scene they're gonna try and rotate me <laughs> This is what it feels like to have your wagon flipped over in the middle of the street and just nothing else around you but a flipped over wagon now because the dually has been moved. So that's what we're working with now. Just a flipped over trailer, we're waiting for them to clean up the accident and then you know they're gonna rotate me. Okay. Sorry Jared, sorry Lisa. <laughs> It didn't pop open. Thank you. Tires, not good. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Let's go check out the impact site. Oh. Yeah, she's not driving. There you go, Donnie. Got any last words for it? Rest in peace, baby. Did a good job for us. Here we are over in Manning, South Carolina, and uh, we're investigating the wreck. Uh, we wanted to see what happened on inside the trailer from uh, the wreckage. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, just a little bit of shiftage. Uh, table legs, everything still looks intact. I even pulled out a few wrapped up glass pieces that were still good. Uh, most of it's just boxes. So, so far, we're, so far we're doing good right here. Um, it looks good. Well, stay tuned. Here we are a few short hours ago. The wagon was upside down, but we're working our way through it. We're going to make it down to Savannah and Florida no matter what. We have customers that are waiting for us and they'll get their shipments no matter what goes on. We went out, we rented us a truck. 
We're moving up a uh, load from one to the other, making it all fit, and we're gonna get this load going. See you soon. Well, everybody, it's farewell to the beast. Goodbye, Bertha. It's over for you. The rain and the moving days are over. That's right. You were clipped by a Land Rover, and it beat the hell out of you, because look what happened to your rails. But you did total the truck, so you definitely totaled the Range Rover. And uh, this doesn't look that terrible, actually, but it's still, it's still total. Nothing we could do about it. So we're still on the strip, and I ain't seen shit yet. So we're looking for that spot, that one spot. I'd be happy with some good wings and a couple of beers right now. That would set the mood. Let's see what happens. What's up, everybody? We're out here in Savannah, Georgia, unloading the truck. This is what's left in this truck. We had this whole thing packed up with Lisa Kanda's items uh, after the truck tipped over. The rest of the stuff is in the U-Haul truck that we had to rent. She don't have that much stuff in there, maybe seven, eight boxes and a few items of furniture. Everything else goes to our other customers. Very minimal damage on her end. She lost a couple of pieces. Good customer, good spirits. She's very happy that we're here with the rest of her stuff intact. All right, we're over here in Savannah. We unloaded the truck, not the wagon, because that got tipped over. We're here with Lisa Kanda. Uh, we just dropped her off. We got all her stuff in the house. Some damage, but We'll work it out, not too much, only need a few little items. She's still gonna go through the boxes and tell us what's up, but we're here for every step of the way. And we're here to give her her kit. I promised her this kit back from when she booked the move in Jersey, and there it is for her. It is. So, so thank you, Tommy. Thank you, your crew. They're awesome. I know, it was a horrible situation we had to deal with. No homeowner wants to have to go through that in their move, but you gotta trust these guys. They did an awesome job. They got me through it. It said minor damage, stuff can be replaced, people, they can't, and they're awesome. So be very grateful if you work with Van with the man because they're a great team. And thank you, Tommy, and thanks to your team. Thank appreciate you, Lisa. It. I really appreciate <laughs> it. What's thank up, you. everybody? We're out here in Boynton Beach. We're unloading the mess of a week that we had. We had that rollover situation, and we're just trying to clean it all up. We're out here with Ben Schoen. We moved him out here one time uh, originally a few years back. We moved his car. We moved him twice. Now we got his son. Unfortunately, he had to be involved in this aftermath uh, of the big mess. Um, you know, when you think when you have a repeat customer a third time user, they'd be more considerate and more concerned about your well-being and your safety during these missions and during these trips. Um, but however, with this guy, seems to be more interested in his television than our lives. So, I figured that was going to happen with him, so he's just going to get declared 60 cents a pound. You don't get no play.